Hey friends, welcome back. And today I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my Halloween stash. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in since I have quite a few things to share with you guys. So I'm going to start with the things that I have already opened and then I'll move along to um, the paper pad stickers and then the things that I haven't used yet that are still in its packaging. So a lot of it you have seen in pr maybe previous hauls or things that I picked up last year on clearance and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first things that I have, um, I have these little bone pieces and I believe I had gotten these at the 99. Of course, they were the regular color of the skeletons and then I just painted them with the pastel colors, even added some purple and then some glitter on them as well so um, these are great just to add to um, projects you know as like a little layering decor piece for pastelloween i have about two of these spiders left this is my last ring one and then this uh, glittered um, silver i have a couple of wooden pieces that i believe came from michael's quite some time ago and i have some of these these are from the dollar tree this is the glow in the dark one and then the regular colored. I do try to go through um, things that I have already opened before I start using new ones. These are some other bone pieces. I think that also came from the Dollar Tree. A couple little um, clips and safety or paper clips that I have in my stash. Some little spiders that I have and I think these came from Walmart. Some more wooden little pieces. I have these here. I think these came from the 99. Some of the felt stickers from Dollar Tree. Here are some other felt cutouts that are just um, regular, no stickers. I have some tinsel. This bag I have, um, it's basically like beware tape. Um, that you can get usually to decorate. Um, I just cut it in shreds. I'm going to be using that for packaging. And then some wooden little spiders. You have some foam sheets that are in spiders. And I think they are schools in there as well. I got this this year from Beads. A couple cute little baggies. I love the bags. I'm addicted to packaging and then these are like little um, bags that were made for me or from Ivy's Creations last year that I had ordered and so I have a couple of those which are perfect for pastelloween. Here's another one of these cute gift bags. I also have a few of these. These are from Walmart. They usually come out with little paper sacks every year and then I have this one here that was gifted to me. I think this is probably a Daiso um, bag and then some little um, pins or buttons also from Ivy's Creations and then I also have these wooden witch hats that were from Michael's a couple years back so we're going to go ahead and get into the newer things all right so I do have some of the trims that I got this was from Michael's a couple or, a couple years ago um, they do have adhesive on the back I wish they would come out with these again but they never did so I have some of this here and then this roll that definitely been using so I got some of those here is another um, trim it's kind of like the bling with the bats and this was from dollar tree a couple years ago then i have this cute one here i think this one was gifted to me then i have these i think this one has like the spider web this one's a really pretty one this one says boo and then i have the candy corns so i have those I have some of the chipboard stickers that um, Target has came out with. Now this was from a couple of years ago. Now that they make them, they are a lot more um, thin. This is, this is when they were a lot thicker, but super cute. So this is um, my older batch. So I'm trying to get rid of this first before I use my newer ones. Um, but yeah, I have about three buckets of these full of the chipboard stickers. All right, moving along to some of the items that I have not opened up yet that I have gotten over the years. These are some flares, super cute. 
perfect for little embellishments and I love how it has all the colors plus the purple and the green. I have these little bat rings and these were from Walmart. Just cut the little ring part off and use those as embellishments. Here is the newer um, confetti that 99 came out with this year. Here is some of the confetti um, from Walmart. I think those were from last year. I have some of these from Dollar Tree. These cute spider rings that I think I got these from Dollar General. Again, just clip off the ring part. And you can use those as embellishments. I ordered these last year from um, AliExpress. So I was able to, you know, change the color on the woods. So I got those. And then these little cat cats. Here's some more jumbo confetti. And these are like little... Um, worms and candy corn they are double-sided so you can use them plain if you wanted to here's the new felt stickers that the 99 came out with last year some more cute treat bags that walmart always comes out with i did not pick up any this year these are um, from last year probably the year before i have this decorative tape which is great for um, packaging have these cute little ornaments. They're spider ornaments from the Dollar Tree. More of the little wooden um, pieces. These are skeletons that you can use for, um, you know, you can paint them. I think these are from Target Dollar Spot. This one says Happy Halloween, Boo, and I think this one says Pumpkin in Black. That they had a couple years ago. Some little um, felt sticker foam stickers. I think these came from Michael's. Some more little confetti pieces. This is from the 99. I have these cute um, web ornaments from a Dollar Tree. Some more bats. These cute little, uh, little ghosties are from Michael's. I have these as well. These are like little bows and bones and little skeletons from Michael's. More confetti from uh, Walmart. Here's some pumpkin wooden pieces. These are from last year. This is the witch's brooms. They have the little brooms inside. Actually, I have two of those. I didn't know. So I'll probably keep one to the side for Happy Mail. And then I have these. These are the little bones. Super cute. Alright, so I have more of those felt um, stickers, but these have the cats with the pink, and the other ones I shared had the cats with the green. Some more cute baggies from Walmart. Some other ones. I think these are also um, from Walmart. And some more confetti. Have these cute little felt stickers more confetti never beat that at walmart for 98 cents i have these from the um 99 these are die cut felts from tuesday morning and these are just like the skeleton felt shapes some little flag picks from daiso some other little um confetti pieces from the 99 Cute little garland. I think this came from the 99, but I think Dollar Tree carries those as well. These are this year's little um, bones. And then this is um, a little kit that was gifted to me this year in a giveaway that I won. So that is um, super cute. I have these berry picks that I picked up this year from Dollar Tree. I think these are a great little um, backing piece for some embellishments. I got those this year. I also picked up these cute little treat sacks from the Dollar Tree this year. And then I got this cute little garland that has the purple cats and the black. Also the pumpkins. These are brooms that I got this year from Amazon. I did get these plain um, little black bats. Some bigger cute um, like spiders. Then I also picked up these. These are like mini spider webs and it has individually little packed um, 
like black cobweb with the little spider. And then last little bucket of items I have, I got these little silhouette decorations that I plan on using as ephemera pieces. These were from Dollar General this year and they're just like spiders. And then I got the bats. I also picked up these cute little treat sacks. They're a little bit slimmer in size and it comes with two patterns with the little stickers. I got these little webs, felt webs from Michaels. This came from Peachy Cheap. It's the Spooktacular um, little designer clips. I also picked up these bats from Target Dollar Spot this year. And then I picked up all the little wooden pins that they had. I did plan on um, painting these and altering these. I think they're super cute. And then I did pick up some of the sayings. This is the wood words. You just paint them whatever color you'd like. You get three to a pack. I got the boo. I got the spooky. I got the happy Halloween. And I got the wicked. So I love those. As far as my ephemera, I do keep them in um, individually, like the little plastic four by six containers. But um, when it's when I'm actually working on um, my projects, I do just put them all in like a little bucket. So this is all my Halloween ephemera pieces. And I just kind of go through that. And then I have some that are um, haven't been used, which is the 31 collection. Some little collections from Peachy Cheap. Simple stories. And then some ephemera that was gifted to me in Happy Mail. So I just kind of have all that. And if I feel I need to use a piece from the newer packages, then I just go ahead and do so. So as far as like little paper pads, um, I don't have a lot. I have this one here that was gifted to me, so I think this is from Daiso, so this paper is pretty thin. Then I have um, this one here that Target came out with last year, just a couple little scrapbook papers with stencils. And then this one was from uh, Life's Crafts, I think, that I just got this year. And then this is all loose paper that I was gifted in Happy Mail one time, so I still have... I mean, it's getting smaller and smaller, but um, I still have quite a bit to use. And then I just have some just journaling cards or cut aparts that I got from different collections. So that is what I have as, as far as like smaller um, paper pads. So as far as like 12 by 12s, I do have um, loose uh, loose sheets of papers that I've gotten a uh, majority of the time it's from PG cheap little collections that they'll put on sale um, I did get this from Frank Garcia this year and then I do own two 12 by 12s and this one is the peekaboo I think it came out two years ago and I actually couldn't find this at my store cruising with crystal was sweet enough to send me this one and um majority of it I haven't even touched. It's super cute, um, but I just tend to go towards traditional, but I did want to have a pastel one on hand in case um, when I do want to work with pastel Halloween. And then I do have the Halloween party, which I got this year because I didn't have anything as far as like a paper pad that was traditional. And um, this one does have like some pinks and peaches. So I thought this would be great for two of the themes, you know, if I needed to work on them. And then um, these are the ones that I have and I just have them clipped with some binder clips. I've gotten into this. So I'll kind of try to stick to um, some of the collection together so it's just a couple of sheets of different lines this one is Bella Boulevard um, Spectacular and I do have like some of their specialty paper and sticker sheets that are also in here so I keep kind of those together so I keep the themes um, you know together and then this is the 31 this one is the trick-or-treat by Andrew Becky I think that's how you pronounce it this one is the Bella Boulevard Sweet and Spooky. And then this one I got this year. And 
This was from Close to My Heart, and it's the Boo Crew kit, which again, it kind of reminds me of the Halloween party because it has like those cute pumpkins. So it has traditional and it has that splash of pink, which I really like. All right, so last but not least, I have my stickers, and you guys know I'm a sticker holic. I love stickers, um, but if I have doubles, I always share those. So all my stickers are pretty much just single ones. I do keep like open stickers in a separate sleeve pocket, so I will go to this first if I can't find what I'm looking for as far as something that I'm needing for a specific theme. Or decoration then I will go ahead and open a new pack and once I do that goes in here so that's what I do with those and then these are all the stickers that I got um, I usually take the tops off if I'm able to because it just saves on storage these were new this year from Dollar General this one here was from Target this year I really liked this set this was like five dollars and I just like the colors of those Dollar Tree this year. Loving how they have the witch, the little haunted castle. This one here is super cute. These are some thickers from uh, kits that I received from Peachy Cheap, along with this one. Some cute little spiders, probably from Hobby Lobby. These are some felt pumpkins. I think these came from Dollar General. Some thick stickers here. There's some other ones I think from last year's Dollar Tree. Absolutely love these. These are from Dollar Tree. They come out with these every year. I haven't seen them this year. Uh, they stick so well. They're perfect for um, projects. And there are like felt glitter stickers. Here's some other ones. Got candy corn. Some Jolie Boutique ones. This one here was from Target Dollar Sprout. Maybe last year or the year before. This one's perfect to decorate like a box flap for Happy Mail. Here's some other ones. These are also some cute ones from the Dollar Tree. I just love ones that have sayings on them. Because you always need those certain ones. These are a little bit different than the set I just shared with you. Again, I do not have any duplicates. I always share anything that I have doubles of. So here's some that I received in Happy Mail. These are the new ones from Dollar Tree. These are cute ones also from Dollar General. I love the, um, they usually call these like window stickers, but these stick so good. I love to use these on pocket letters. So those are from Dollar Tree a couple years ago. Here's some cute ones, I believe. These maybe came from Dollar General. New this year from the Dollar Tree. Some other Dollar General ones that they've came out with. These were from a Peachy Cheap kit. Some more Dollar General ones. I love these because they have, um, they're thick. They're a nice thick foam. Here's some sayings. This is from a kit from uh, the Trick or Treat. There's another um, piece here that says Halloween that I got in Peachy Cheap. Some other cute stickers, probably from Dollar General. Another one of my faves from Dollar Tree. More stickers, window clings. These I got this year from Joann's, and they're like a um, squishy, like jelly type sequence. Some stickers from Dollar Tree. These are super cute. I think these came from either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Part of the 31 collection. The cute little witch hats from Dollar Tree. These were gifted to me because I think these came from Dollarama. These are really cute too. I haven't used those. I've been hoarding them. I got these cute little cat stickers. These are super cute. I think these are also gifted to me. And then I have this one. This one's perfect for a uh, Memory Jux theme. Some eyeballs from Target. I remember Target used to come out with such cute stickers. And then this one here is from the Dollar Tree this year. Some cute ghosties. Here's some other ones with the lime green. Some cute bat stickers. Also from Target. And then these here. Super cute. 
and those are my stickers now all my embellishments and stuff i'm not going to share because um, i've already shared throughout my videos with project shares and stuff like that of course i have the sequences and stuff like that which i'm sure you guys don't want to see and um, i have like all my halloween charms as well in separate containers but i wanted to show you guys majority of the bigger items and that is it i did already decorate my home for halloween and i'm super excited to share with you guys so i will definitely be doing a video of that so you guys can see and yeah so i hope you guys are doing well and i will see you guys all my next video. Take care. Bye.